Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, we're working on this little compressor. I haven't been filming the first part because I was just stopping leaks. I found uh, one leak on the output of the regulator here, and the other leak was on the uh, drain valve. Oh, you can see that. There it is. I think that's it. And uh, so now it's been sitting overnight. And I turned it off at 120, and it's still at 115, and uh, that just might be from the gauges relaxing. I, I, I just used soap and water to spray for the leaks, and now I'm putting a couple of feet on it. That foot is coming off. You see this foot here? And I'm going to make a couple of feet, so they're both the same. This is rubber compound. Um, and I'm just cu cutting it out right now and my drills are all uh, are uh, Discharging because uh, I haven't I haven't charged them for about a month. Eh? So now I'm just finishing the cut of this of this one particular hole So we'll just do that oh, yeah. <laughs> This baby goes That's okay. I don't mind that. <laughs> Helicopter! Oh my gosh. Okay, now I got a hole through the other side. So now I match it up. And just finish it. That's it. So that was easy. Now... Pull it out of here. And we just put an indentation for the carriage bolt. You'll, you get what I'm talking about, eh? And then we'll clean up the. Uh... I wonder if that's about the same. I think so. And then we just. Uh... Finish it off with the 3 8 This drill is not variable speed. It honks. But you know what? Once in a while it's kind of nice to have a drill that honks. Alright. So now we're going to drill a hole in here to take that 3 8 bolt. And I expect this to be really hard drilling. It's a 5 16 right now. I have to tilt this just a little bit more. We'll just do it like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's hold our breath here. <laughs> well, you do what you do, right? there and do the same thing. Well, let's just see if our new feet fit. Oh yes, and I let the air out of the compressor right here. Can you see that? Right here. I let the air out. All right. I'm just going to turn you off until I find some washers and uh, we'll do this after I find those. Alrighty. So, Okay, I'm going to get a uh, ratchet and uh, I'm going to get a better set of these when I grow up. Okay, let's have a look in, together to see how this looks. That's good, right? Can you see that? So that's going to be just great. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to put these on just yet cuz I want to weld a handle onto this somehow. So let's take it off. And that's a perfect deal. That's what I call a homemade thing. This stuff is the 
left over from the liner of my box in the truck. Alrighty. So now there's a lot, there's many, many ways of doing this. I'm just going to take the paint off the, uh, the edge here so I can weld on a piece of flat stock at about that angle out to about there. Yes, bearing protection, gloves, eye protection. Let's see if we can get that paint off of there now. I'm not going to start to put this off. All right, I'm going to use my chop saw and cut this piece of metal off. I'll make two of them. measure for the upright. I'll be right back. All right, I got my four pieces cut and I'm just polishing, uh, polishing them up, getting the rust off. All right, now I get set up for the welding. I'm going to weld that right there, probably in a couple of spots. And uh, we'll just get you set up here so you can kind of see. We don't want, I've got kind of a block set up so nobody can out, nobody else can see. And uh, let's do this. Now what I do is I always warm up my rods first before I weld. Looks all right. Put a backyard hat. Huh? All right. Okay, a little more welding. Happy. 
That's all right. All right, there's my handle. Looks a little clunky, but it's gonna work just, they should have had that on, something like that on from the factory. And it was so interesting. I measured off this uh, bracket, right? And you'll see there's about three quarters of an inch between the bracket and that weld on this side. And an inch and a half between the bracket and the weld on that side. So I made this bracket exactly square and tall. And then I had to bring this one back. <laughs> because the factory one was crooked. What does that say, right? Okay, guys. All right, I'm almost done, but I thought I'd... I'm in the cleanup phase, and look at the dust inside there. I think this thing was used in a drywall environment, eh? So anyway, I'm making my garage dusty, and I'm blowing the sawdust out of this uh, little compressor. My stand is almost done. And yeah, it's fun. Well, there we go. The finished product. We got most of the small pieces of paint off of it. Uh, it's still at 110 pounds, and it was 120 yesterday. So that's okay for an old beat up compressor that looked like it had been used in the drywalling business. The new handle works really, really well. It was Remember, trying to do it on a budget. <laughs>